Hi, I'm Jeff Bloomberg and I'm the Chief Operating Officer at MGE. And this week's tip is about leadership. There's a lot to the subject of leadership. And having been an executive and a trainer for over 20 years, I find that when people want to become better leaders, they tend to focus on how can I inspire people, how can I get people to follow me, and things along these lines. But they have a tendency to ignore a very basic and important lesson of leadership. And that's what I want to talk about this week. It's specifically, what type of an example are you setting for your group? Whether you know it or not, the way you handle things, the way you conduct yourself, uh, whether you're on time or not, whether you blow meetings off, things along these lines, all of the things that you do, whether you know it or not, you're on stage. You're the model. And the audience for this show, with you being on stage, is your team. It's your staff. And whether they know it or not, when they watch you and they see how you handle adversity or how you conduct yourself in the business, that tells them what is con considered to be okay or acceptable in the business. If you don't show up at meetings on time or you blow them off or you issue orders and you don't really care whether people comply with them or not, if you get bristly or upset for no good reason, like for example, let's say there's a humongous opening on the schedule and you yell and scream or, or conversely, you go sit in your office and sulk, people are watching this. This to them is showing them, this is the signal. This is how we handle things in the office. Let's say you're pretty rough and, and not very nice when things don't go right. Well, don't be surprised when you see your receptionist yelling at your dental assistant. You've kind of told them, this is how things work here. And maybe now that you see it from the outside, it doesn't look very good, does it? So the first lesson of leadership is to sort of look at yourself and look at how you are conducting yourself as the leader, whether you're the doctor or the office manager, because the entire time you're there, you're on stage, okay? You're the model, so to speak. You're what they should be aspiring towards. And if you don't like what you're, what the, the way that you're, you're behaving or you're acting, you're handling yourself as an executive or a leader, then why would you want your staff to aspire to that? So the first thing you have to do is really look at yourself and look at you know, using discipline to change any tendencies you feel are not acceptable as a leader. Maybe it's not showing up right before the first patient okay, or, or whatever that might be. You should conduct yourself the way or according to the ideals that you set for yourself. That's the first thing I would do. Next thing I would say is this. Let's say um, you hate discussing finances with patients. You hate it. You just don't want to do it. You feel uncomfortable with it. Yet, you have an employee do it. Something I learned a long time ago, just about on the subject of leadership, is I will never ask somebody to do something that I myself will not do. Now, the truth is, they may do it better. In a lot of cases, I hope to surround myself who, uh, with a group of specialists and great team members who can do stuff way better than I can. That makes, you know, that, that makes my life easy. But I have a willingness to do it. I would never ask somebody to do something that I myself would not do, okay? And if you, if you find yourself in that position, you don't want to discuss fees, but you're forcing somebody else to, you'll find it feels a little weird. But then you'll also find that you become a little bit too dependent upon that person. Not that there's anything wrong with being dependent upon somebody, but keep that in mind. If there's something in your business that's part of the vital part of your business process and you're unwilling to do it, that's not good. You should be willing and able to do anything in your business. And one last thing I'll say about this is usually when I see bad reactions in executives, they're handling things badly in a business, they're not being very good leaders, in a lot of those cases, it comes back to just a lack of understanding and knowledge. How much training have you had on the subject of being an executive? Chances are you haven't. You've been trained to be a doctor, and that's why you're a doctor. But you own a business, too, and that's why you have to be an executive. So in those cases, I recommend that you get trained. At MGE, I consider that we're the best in the industry when it comes to training executives, whether doctors or office managers or even treatment coordinators or PR people for the practice. And so if you find that you want to become a better leader and you want to inspire your group more and you want to bring your, your activity to greater heights, I do recommend that you give us a call. I hope this helped. Um, if you have any questions, you can always email me at jeff at mgeonline.com. And if you liked this tip and you'd like to see more like them, don't forget to click the subscribe button and click the uh, notifications button so you're notified when these tips come up. 
And as I say in my tips, if you liked it, don't forget to click the like button. Otherwise, if you want to find out more about MGE, you can find us online at www.mgeonline.com or call us at 800-640-1140. We'll see you back at the next tip.